Hi Taurus, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be asking the cards who's coming towards you in regards to love. I'm going to, I'm going to take a look at who they are, what their current feelings are for you, and what actions will they take towards you next. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, these are general readings. They might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings. I know some of my readings are for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. All right, let's take a look at who's coming towards you in regards to love. Let's see. All right, Spirit, Angels, and Guides, please show me who's coming towards Taurus in regards to love. <clears throat> who's coming towards Taurus in regards to love? All right, here we go. Who's coming towards Taurus in regards to love? First card we have is the Six of Cups. So this can represent a past person. Doesn't have to be, but it could just represent someone who feels a very strong soulmate connection with you or it's a past person. Actually, let me say that again. It could be a new person that feels a strong soulmate connection with you, but it can also be a past person that feels a, a soulmate connection with you. It's a strong connection um, regardless if it's new or past. Tell me more, who's coming towards Taurus in regards to love? Nine of Pentacles. Hmm. Nine of Swords. This feels like someone who wants to reconnect with you, Taurus. Someone who can't stop thinking about you with the Nine of Swords. I feel like this person wants to reconcile with you and reconnect with you. Um, but they seem to be nervous or anxious to say anything or do anything. Let me clarify that. Tell me about the Nine of Swords, Spirit. Why the Nine of Swords in this person's energy and feelings? Yeah, King of Swords. So this is communication. Someone feels a little bit nervous to communicate with you. To have a conversation with you, to reach out to you. Mm. Let me see what else. Tell me more about this person, Spirit. Who's coming towards Taurus in regards to love? Tell me more about them. Two of Swords. So, block communication between you two. So this person hasn't talked to you in a while. I feel like they want to break the silence, but they don't know how to break the silence. They don't know what to say. They don't know um, what to anticipate if they were to reach out. Like they don't know how you'll react. And I feel like they're scared about you potentially rejecting them. Hmm. This feels like someone who wants to return back to your life. Tell me more about this person, Spirit. Who's coming towards Taurus in regards to love? Six of Swords. So it does, sorry, this does look like someone who walked away from you. Um someone who chose to walk away from you or someone who accepted to disconnect from you. Hmm. 
kind of like they gave up on you at some point. But I feel like they're experiencing regret. They regret giving up on you. They regret disappearing or walking away or, you know, just not contacting you for so long. Tell me more about this person. Who's coming towards Taurus in regards to love? Tell me more about them, Spirit. Thank you. Four of Cups. Mm, I see. So this is someone who misses you. I see. Yeah, Four of Cups and the Six of Cups. They've been missing you a lot. They haven't had any luck finding anybody new to replace you or, you know, to entertain them, you know, so they're, they're feeling pretty sad, pretty lonely right now, um, emotionally unfulfilled, emotionally unhappy, and all they can think about is you and, and the connection, the, the intense soulmate connection that they used to feel with you and that they still do, but they feel like you don't want anything to do with them anymore, or you probably wouldn't want anything to do with them anymore if they were to reach out. Uh, air sign, I have air sign here, Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. All right, let me see if I can dig into this person a little bit more. Let me clarify Four of Cups. Tell me about the Four of Cups spirit connected to this person's energy and feelings for Taurus. Why the Four of Cups? This kind of looks like someone who walked away because they felt like they had no choice but to walk away because you didn't... Um, I don't know, it looks like you didn't you didn't accept to be with them. I mean, you look like you rejected this person. Just the way you're showing up here as the nine of pentacles. So I, it just kind of looks like you didn't want to deal with them or you rejected them. So they felt like they had no choice but to leave. But I feel like they they're regretting it, like they're regretting not fighting for you. Tell me about the Four of Cups connected to this person's energy and feelings for Taurus. The Emperor, I see. That's interesting. Emperor and the King of Swords. That's nice. Hmm. Why did you reject this person is what I'm wondering now. This looks like a pretty good energy here. Okay. So with the emperor, I feel like, um, yeah, this person just wanted to respect you. You know, the emperor is kind of like someone who, you know, they're not going to chase you. Like if you tell them, no, I don't want to be with you, they're not going to chase you or they're not going to force it, you know. They, they have pride and also they just, they have self-respect, but they also want to respect you and, and your decision. All right, I want to know what happened here. I don't know why you rejected them, so let me see. Hmm. Yeah, Five of Pentacles. They feel left out in the cold. They feel rejected, abandoned by you. Spirit, how does um, Taurus feel about this person? What are Taurus's feelings for this person? What feelings does Taurus have for this person? Okay, here we go. The Page of Cups is your feelings. Mm, tell me more. What feelings does Taurus have for this person? 
Ace of Cups, Three of Wands, Three of Pentacles, Eight of Wands, Two of Cups, Eight of Swords at the bottom. Eight of Swords to the Death card to the Hierophant and the Ten of Swords. Six of Pentacles to the Five of Cups, Magician, Three of Swords. I feel like you like this person or I do feel like, well, some of you have feelings for them. We do have the Two of Cups here. Now, there could have been another person, though, um, in your energy. Okay, I feel like um, there was somebody else, though. I feel like it's almost like you weren't emotionally available for this person when they were, when they showed up in your life. I feel like you liked them with the Page of Cups. This is kind of like when you like someone. I feel like there was, you know, you did feel an emotional connection here with them. Some of you even saw potential with the Three of Wands. But with the Two of Cups, I feel like somebody else was occupying your heart or occupying your mind. Someone who you experienced an ending with. You know, someone who you... Um, yeah, someone who you no, no longer were with. But it does look like you had high hopes with the Hierophant for a commitment, for a long-term commitment. But it looks like it didn't work out. And it looks like with the Five of Cups and the Six of Pentacles, this is you kind of grieving still. the This failed relationship that you experienced in previously, previous to this person. A relationship that was toxic with the Devil card. And this is you kind of taking back your power with the magician. You f okay, so you feel betrayed. You feel like this, this other person, this past person betrayed you and disappointed you and just left you wounded. And this is you kind of in an energy of not really wanting to deal with somebody new at the time. Is there anything else? I don't know. So it's why did uh Taurus reject this person? Why did Taurus reject this person? This um King of Swords Emperor person? Two of Wands here. So again, two people. I feel like two people were in your energy. Them and another person. But the Two of Wands is kind of like when you're at a crossroads. So I feel like for some of you, it just wasn't the right time for you. This person came up in a, at the wrong time. Tell me more about the Two of Wands in regards to why Taurus rejected this King of Swords Emperor person, male or female. Six of Pentacles. I feel like indecisiveness also is connected to you. A feeling of indecisiveness. Yeah, look at that. Four of Wands, Six of Pentacles. Yeah. I don't feel like you didn't want love or you didn't want a relationship. I just feel like you were at a crossroads and um, you just had a lot on your plate. And it was kind of like too soon for you. Too soon, too fast. You just needed more time to organize yourself figure yourself out a little bit more and decide, you know, what direction you truly wanted to go in. Well, what, what were the options? 
What, what was the other option? Spirit. Apart from Four of Wands and the Six of Pentacles. Ooh, Devil. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. All right, well, the devil can represent an attachment. So some of you were still kind of experiencing a, a level of attachment still to this, to this other person, this past person that you broke up with. So that wasn't really allowing you to um, open up to this new person or to this other person here, whoever this person is. So yeah, like I said, I feel like indecisiveness here is a part of your energy or was a part of your energy. Still kind of stuck between the old and the new. Feeling a little bit, you know, unsure about which direction to go. Um, it does look like ultimately you decided to kind of keep to yourself or like you decided that you needed more time to be alone or to be with yourself to figure things out so it does look like this person walked away here what is this three of wands connected to taurus's feelings three of swords yeah um, this is you trying to look towards the future and move on with your life, but with the three of swords, you're carrying, um, this heartbreak that has you feeling jaded, has you feeling, you know, like you're still carrying a heavy weight and this ace of cups, this new beginning, um, that's being offered or that's available. You just don't feel like you have the stamina like the emotional stamina to embrace it. Well, how do you feel now? Because I kind of feel like this is like how you felt, how you felt in the past about this person. Let's see, how do you feel now? Let's see if it's the same. How does Taurus feel now about this um, Emperor Sword, King of Swords person, male or female? How does Taurus feel now about them? How does Taurus feel now about this person? Page of Pentacles. Some of you just want to be friends. Just friends. Page of Pentacles. Tell me more. How does Taurus feel now about them? King of Pentacles. Some of you are just very focused on yourself, on your work, career, finances. That's your number one, number one priority right now. And the only thing you feel like you can offer this person is friendship. You don't feel ready for anything serious right now, at least not with them. I don't feel like you like this person, but I don't feel like you're in love with them, you know? I don't know, it, it has that vibe. I feel like they're more in love with you than you're in love with them, you know? Tell me more, how does Taurus feel now about this King of Swords Emperor person? Tell me more. The Hermit card. Yeah, so you're still in this energy of um, soul searching with the Hermit card. Still kind of soul searching. Sorry, that was my chair. It made a noise. Uh, let's get one more. How does Taurus feel now about this person? So you, you don't seem interested. Yeah, the moon. The moon and the hermit. So just you're still kind of sorting out your feelings. Um, still kind of working on letting go of the past the moon can represent the past still working on your healing 
very focused on your career, money, finances, stability. Again, Page of Pentacles, I feel like friendship is all you are interested in offering this person. All right. Well, I don't see them taking action, though. I see them thinking about you, but let's see if they're going to take action. I mean, the video is called Who's Coming Towards You, so... So, yeah, they're, they're probably going to take action at some point. What actions will this person take towards Taurus moving forward? What actions? The Knights of Pentacles. That's not any action. Hmm. Kind of looks like they're they're gonna. For now, I feel like they're still they're gonna continue just kind of thinking about you and missing you, but not really taking action. Tell me more. What actions will they take towards Taurus moving forward? Ten of Pentacles. Okay, so I do feel like they are going to um, try to put their mind into their work, career, finances, their home. Um, they're going to try to prioritize those things and um, they're going to avoid reaching out to you for now. So I just see them missing you, thinking about you, but nothing else. What's the outcome between Taurus and this person? What's going to end up happening between Taurus and this person moving forward? What's the outcome? High Priestess, more silence. Oh, okay. Five of Wands to the Seven of Cups. Ace of Pentacles, Lovers, Three of Swords. Star, Three of Wands. Chariot. So I do feel like they are going to um, reach out and try to reconnect with you with the Ace of Pentacles and the lovers here. Yeah, they're going to get tired of, of like thinking about you and reminiscing over you. They're going to get tired of that and they're just going to be in this, they're going to change into this energy or shift into this energy of, you know what, let me just... Let me just take action. Let me just take a chance. Let me just take a leap of faith. Let's see what happens. Well, what does happen? Let's see. How are you going to respond to their communication and their action? Actions. Tell me, how is um, Taurus going to respond to this person's spirit? What is Taurus's response going to be to their actions? Magician, Knight of Cups, Ten of Wands, Five of Swords, Four of Cups, Two of Swords. Mm -mm. No. Okay, so it's no. It's a no from you. Um, yeah, it just kind of feels again like you're in this energy of I don't want to go past. I don't want to go past just being friends, you know. Some of you are kind of bitter towards this person over something specific here with the Five of Swords. But, or like, you know, like upset with them over something. Like for some of you, this person, you feel like this person kind of offended you in some way or disrespected you in some way. But nevertheless, it, it just kind of looks like you're not interested and it looks like, you know, you would entertain a casual a casual friendship, but, you know, it doesn't even look like you're interested in that either. Okay, so, yeah, I don't see this person getting what they want with you. 
So it doesn't look like ultimately um, you're just going to stick to yourself. Anything between Taurus and the past person, Spirit? Anything, anything going to happen between Taurus and the past person moving forward? Six of Wands, Six of Swords, Page of Wands. Oh, okay. There is communication with the past person. You definitely seem more interested in the past person. A lot more interested in them. But you're definitely guarded towards them. You don't trust them. I feel like they are going to try to kind of like woo you or um, seduce you. While you might be tempted, I feel like you're not going to give in. I can see you being very interested in them, though. Like, you're a lot more interested. There's a lot more emotion here. There's more of an intense connection between you and this past person. But I see you resisting because you feel like this person doesn't... They ultimately... You feel like ultimately they don't give you what you deserve. And I feel like you're not going to settle for less than what you deserve. Um, you still want them. I feel like you still want this past person. You're just not willing to settle because this person might be someone who has a third party and they might be someone who's very in and out and very inconsistent. I feel like there's a part of you that's been waiting for this person to like step up to the plate and, you know, give you the, the commitment that you deserve. But I feel like that's not going to happen. I feel like they are going to reach out and try to like seduce you, like I said, and woo you. But this person's still non-committal. They're still a player, basically. I also feel like they still have this third party situation. And I feel like, um, I feel like you're going to have a moment of like feeling happy to hear from them again, feeling happy that they're reaching out to you. But I feel like it's not going to last long. I feel like it's you're going to quickly fall back into feeling disappointed and, and discouraged because I feel like you're going to quickly realize that this person, you know, they're still, they're still with a third party. They're still non-committal. You know? So keep that in mind. Don't get your hopes up with this past person, okay? so that you don't experience this letdown, you know, this, this disappointment. All right, so Taurus, I hope I helped you with this reading. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.